you guys, today I'm going to be talking about um, using your GPU to um, encode video. It, basically the idea is you, you're going to use your graphics processing unit, or if you don't know what that, if your GPU was, and what it's going to do, it's going to help, it's going to, in some cases, extremely help your rendering times when it comes to videos. Your rendering times are going to drop way down low, especially if you, if you render a lot of video. This is going to save you a lot of time, and it's going to be a really great solution for you if you do if it's done right. So, let's get into it. Okay, so basically, what it's going to do, all it's going to do is it's going to uh, help render your videos quicker. Or let's go. Let's just go ahead and explain. Here's the thing about a GPU. As you know, as you may or may not know, you may not be too familiar with uh, computers. But they've got cores. Basically, when they first made a computer, they had a single core CPU. CPU is in central processing unit. It's what does all does all the data crunching. It does all the information. It's doing all the processes. It's 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 the brain of your computer of your um, of your computer. Um, well, your GPU when GPUs were first, you know, when they first you know had GPUs, all the the idea was is all it's gonna do it's gonna process the information. And it's going to display it on your monitors. Well, what they figured out is they figured out how to make very, very powerful GPUs that can do a lot of things your CPU can't. Well, the, the key is what they do. I'm sorry if I'm talking now. I'm a little bit low and the camera's not picking me up as well, so I'm going to stop that. Um, what it does is it does um, your GPU, what it's going to do it's all, the key is all about how the software or your drivers for your GPU, whether you have NVIDIA or um, AT, I'm sorry, AMD GPU or built-in graphics from Intel, because they've got some stuff like that. It's all, what your drivers, it's about the coding. The people that sit there and they update the drivers, that how then they code it, it's all about what they're doing and how they're optimizing, they're, they're gonna optimize the hardware to be used really efficiently for software. Basically a GPU, it's, you know, your computer has like four cores, cores as in, you know, one, two, three, four CPUs. It's basically CPUs put in the one package and so it's gonna be, give you a lot more rendering time. Most, most, I, I guarantee you, you're at least, you're, you're watching on a dual core GP, I mean, um, CPU. Most uh, computers are uh, uh, dual core, it's moving a lot of in the quad cores, they're, they're most, I mean, they're, they're wanting to, as they progress in technology, they're making more computers quad core, so that's more power. So, but basically your GPU has a bunch of little, has a bunch of little tiny cores. They're not, each core is not super powerful, but collectively there's a ton of them. Like see my GPU, a Radeon 5770, it has 800, I believe 800, 800 about, yeah, I think it's about 800 cores. It has 800 little cores in them. And basically, you know, um, it's, instead of having, you know, four cores, four massive cores doing all the work, think of it, I, I, when I picture in my head, I think of four, like, robotic things doing all of it, or 800 little, little robotic things, you know, doing all the work for you. It can be more efficient, it can be better or not, depending on what you're doing. CPUs are better than GPUs at one thing, GPUs are definitely better than CPUs at another thing. So all it is, it's, you know, all those little cores working together, and it's the way all those cores are bonded together. The way um, AMD and NVIDIA make these cores to interlock, the way they all communicate with each other. They communicate, each core communicates with each other so ridiculously fast. It makes these types of things for H.2, I mean for um, using your video, using, uh, rendering your videos and, you know, encoding video so efficient. Very, very efficient. It's all about the drivers. If you've got any NVIDIA based, if you've got a NVIDIA card, or basically if you've got a gaming machine, a gaming machine, and you can play modern games, you're pro you're gonna have a GPU that's gonna uh, support. Um, you, you're gonna be able to render video with your GPU. You can do that. You can even do that in the driver. You can in uh, AMD's driver for their GPUs. You can go in there and you can uh, drag a video in, and it's gonna use the uh, your card alone. To render out the video, whether you know you're changing it from this codec to another codec, it's going to do that for you. Or you can get something like a software like Exilsoft, 
which is going to use your GPU and your CPU to render out video and to uh, encode them and um, change the codec from you know ACHD to H.264, MOV to MP4, blah 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 blah, etc. So your GPU is it's very powerful. There's a lot of potential, and thanks to very smart coders and people that are really good at designing these. First of all, designing this without the, I mean, yeah, yeah, they're powerful, but they're only powerful if the software is coded right. If the software is made right, the drivers, it, it you can do wonders. Um, there's lots of examples of exactly that. So. Um, also, you've got in uh, Premiere Pro, you've got what is called the Mercury Playback Engine. Basically, if you've got a NVIDIA-based graphics card, you're going. Uh, if if your uh, NVIDIA-based graphics card supports CUDA, C U D A, which is uh, NVIDIA's name for their you know rendering out GP, uh, rendering out uh, video with your GPU. If you have a CUDA-based, uh, you know, if you've got CUDA cores, as they call them CUDA cores, each little core. Um, Basically, you have the Mercury Playback Engine, which is going to help you. You know, when you get a lot of, if you want to throw color corrector and all that crap onto your video, and then you want to go right, um, you throw all that stuff on the video, and then you know, and you go to play it back within, you know, whatever editing software you're using. It's all jittery and stuff, and it's slow, and then you gotta, you gotta decrease the quality, um, so you can view it at a reasonable frame rate. That is because. That is because you're throwing all that on there, and your CPU alone can't handle. It. But you can use your in uh, Premiere Pro. You can use your GPU to help, so that doesn't happen. It's amazing technology. It's, it's not technology, but coding is all amazing coding. That's what it is. It's all about the coding of the software. It does amazing stuff. So basically, your GPU is going to help you render videos by because it has all the little power cores, and they're all going to come together and they help render your videos because people make coded coded software to do it really well. Now AMD, they used to be called ATI, they're not called ATI anymore, they, they're officially AMD, it was AMD bought ATI and they kept the ATI branding for a while and then they just, recently they said, all right, no more ATI, it's all AMD. So people could get the idea first um, before they just said it was just gonna be called AMD. So people didn't get too confused. Um, there, it's called Steam Technology. It's basically using your, um, Stream technology, sorry, stream. It is using your GPU for, that's what AMD calls their technology, NVIDIA calls it CUDA. Which one's better? That's all about the coding and the drivers. I don't know which one's better. I don't know if you can really compare which one's better than one another. So thank you guys, this has been my video on explaining um, what is GPU acceleration. And so I will see you guys later.